of the season. That's the lineups: Marshall, Varga, Baldi, McNamara, Agat, Lennon, Petrov, Pearson, Thompson, Larson, and Sutton for Celtic. For Rangers, a victory today is essential for pride, if nothing else, and for Celtic, it would mean an incredible five victories in this campaign, six consecutive Old Firm victories, and that hasn't been done since 1972-73. Packed Celtic Park as always, just under 59,000 because of the segregation here. And the match is underway. Hugh Dallas. Celtic attacking the traditional Rangers end of the ground. Laid on for Larson. Challenge from the back from Rickson. The referee saw nothing wrong with that. The ball intercepted again by Lennon. Back to Larson. Left for Diddy. A gap on the right hand side. He likes to. First forward, opts to knock it back this time though. Three kicks been given, Frank De Boer complaining, taken quickly from Sutton, and I think the whistle's gone just too quickly for the for the liking of Hugh Dallas. Play is coming back. Frank De Boer and uh, the referee arguing the point. I think that was fairly apparent. Thompson off the wall this time. Scored from a similar distance in January. And the ball back over into the Celtic half. Jackie McNamara outstanding in Celtic colours this season. Brings it back to the halfway line. Switches to the right hand side. Now let's see what Agat can do. Diddy Agat gets down, gets towards the byline, and he's pulled back. Assistant referee in, in close proximity agreed. Paolo Vanoli, the culprit. Left footed ball from Thompson. And it's turned in by Stan Varga. But it won't count. It won't count. Varga has a wry smile. Hugh Dallas noticed some infringement, perhaps a, a pull by the tall defender as he back heeled it past Stefan Kloss. Celtic fans' celebrations were short-lived. Tugging a jersey, I think, there. Both sides still looking for, a, for an opening in the final Old Firm match of the season. Larson, with his back to goal, is taken out of the game. Another free kick opportunity taken quickly and smothered by Kloss. Great vision from the Swede and how much will his services be missed next year by that man? Larson again, lay off, Pearson taken late. Frank De Boer this time. A more dangerous position, six-man Rangers wall. Stefan Kloss charged with keeping this one out, arguably Rangers' best player this past season. Larson's there, Thompson's there. Larson steps up, a low one, no power in that, no trouble for the German. Celtic charging forward again, Diri Agat into the box. Bad clearance, chested down by Petrov, he's 16 yards from goal, just outside the penalty box now. And it goes, head flick from Larson on the line, and a great save from Stefan Kloss. Referee allowed play on there. And there may have been an occasion where the goalkeeper was given the benefit of the doubt, but Sutton was allowed to make that challenge. Celtic defending momentarily, ball into the penalty box. Laid down for Michael Malls, off for Hughes, and just over the bar. Stephen Hughes nearly made the difference there. Took a reflection on the way out from Stelian Petrov.
Lennon. And Fernando Rickson and Lennon complaining bitterly to referee Hugh Dallas that it was caught in the shin there, I think. Bad challenge from the Dutchman. Plenty of passion for Fernando Rickson. Free kick goes Rangers' way. Thompson picks it up at the edge of his own penalty area and it's given away. Played the ball, said the referee, breaks the Hughes again. And just too high once again from Stephen Hughes. He's having a go though. And again it takes the deflection, Bobo Baldi this time. Mikel Arteta. What a save from David Marshall, what a fantastic save there. And it's fallen to Jackie McNamara. And Larson has it on the halfway line. David Marshall, the hero for Celtic this season, not for the first occasion, a fingertip save there. Frank De Boer's header. And that was goal-bound. Rangers still pressing forward, looking for the opening. Michael Moles, and again, Marshall there, fumbled the first one. Did enough though to put Stephen Thompson off. Good play from Moles. Turns away from Stan Varga. A curling shot which Marshall found difficult to hold. Hughes back through for Rickson. Moles in some space, and that had to be a timely challenge from Bobo Baldi and was. No question here he had to play the ball. Complaints from Moles either. Ball in again. McNamara clears it. Hughes heads it back into the Celtic penalty area. McNamara once again knocks it back out. The free kick has gone against Stephen Pearson for a foul on Rickson, and now him and Hutton are getting involved. Hugh Dallas reminding everybody who's in charge. It's the initial challenge on Rickson. Deep one to the back post, headed clear. Away for a Celtic corner kick. Time not on Celtic side now. Thompson. Left-footed ball in. And just past the post. Varga and Baldi were both there. It might even be a blue jersey that turned that one behind. Attack again. Fingertip save, no real threat there from Celtic. Stilian Petrov. He had some options though. Corner comes in. Punch clear by Stefan Kloss. And the decision does go the goalkeeper's way on this occasion. And Kloss is in some trouble here. Andy Watson and Alec McLeish just look on. Ball back through again. Larson. He's got options behind him. Cross the face of goal and Petrov into the side netting. And that was arguably Celtic's best chance of this match so far. Larson crossed the face of the goal and Petrov unmarked at the back post. Could only find the side netting. Attacking the penalty box again, gets away from Kazanishvili, deep ball, Petrov chests it down and goes to ground, looking for a penalty kick, I fear. Nothing from Hugh Dallas. Good control from the Bulgarian initially, and then went to ground, perhaps too easily. Free kick in. Lennon. Finds Diri Agat, he's on a race here with Stephen Hughes, it's a no contest so far, Agat charging towards the, the penalty area, still Diri Agat and he decides to go for the shot, and that I have to say was the wrong call. Henrik Larsson is absolutely furious. He was all alone inside the 18-yard box, Agat opted for the shot, Thompson was there as well, 
He's screaming two at the Frenchman. Could have been Celtic's best chance of the match. Pearson. Out to Diria Gat again. Decides to play it in this time. Cleared. Headed back into the danger area. And a half shot from Chris Sutton. He knows he might have done better on that occasion. Contact wasn't great. McNamara through the centre circle to Lennon. And Gats on his right. Box into the penalty box. And Sutton's unmarked. And that was another fantastic save from Stefan Kloss. Sutton was all alone there. Where the Rangers defend were. You could only guess at. Fingertip save over the bar. Keeps Rangers in this match. Petrov's corner. Punch clear again from Stefan Kloss. Henrik Larsson looks to the sky. He wriggled away from Frank de Boer. Powerful jump from the Swede again. Corner comes in. Cleared. Kazanishvili back to Alan Thompson. Takes a second touch and Larsson again. And it's held by Stefan Kloss. The Celtic fans behind that goal think it crossed the line. No real complaints from the Celtic players, though. Rangers on the attack at the moment. It's back with David Marshall at the other end, but we'll see it again now. Larson's header goes towards Claus, and the whole of the ball, I think, was not over the line. So a good call from Hugh Dallas. Just held, just kept out by Claus. Stephen Pearson makes way for Aidan Maggedy, scored in his debut. Tyne Castle a couple of weeks ago. Big, big day for the young Irishman. Corner kick comes in. Nobody there. Sutton again on the end of that. Mikel Arteta at the back post. I suspect he wouldn't have known too much about that. Rangers pressing forward. Ball across the deck and an unusual header that time from Bobo Baldi. Agat, back into the Rangers half, Sutton ahead of him, Thompson to his left, wide left it goes, Aidan Maggedy has it at the apex of the penalty box, Maggedy! And he wouldn't want to see that one again. Into the Celtic box it goes, and Thompson there just ahead of David Marshall. Never took his eye off the ball, Stephen Thompson. Never made the right contact either, or Marshall would have been beaten on that occasion, I'm sure. Scored in the last old firm game. Larson lays it off to Chris Sutton. Sutton looks up, makes some space, and it's a goal! In the 92nd minute at Celtic Park, in the last old firm game of the season, Chris Sutton has given Celtic a lead and there's no way back now for Rangers. Your beauty indeed. The Celtic fans go absolutely wild, as does Martin O'Neill and John Robertson. They can't believe the luck, the pressure of Rangers from almost the first ball. Marshall started this. McNamara got a head flick, cushioned down by Larson into the path of Chris Sutton. He shrugged off. Frank de Boer and lobbed. Stefan Kloss, a delightful chip over the German keeper. He's been sensational all afternoon. And in it goes. And that surely means that Celtic will win their fifth Old Firm game of the season. Six in total. Chris Sutton, the hero of the hour. A candidate for player of the season like so many of the Celtic players this year, Neil Lennon and Jackie McNamara in there as well. And the final whistle, we expect any second now from Hugh Dallas. It's been an eventful afternoon. There's been no love lost as always. Hugh Dallas looks at his watch once more.
and the final whistle goes. And Celtic have made it six in a row against Rangers. And they're on course now for clinching a domestic double. Disastrous season for Alec McLeish's side, no doubt about that. Martin O'Neill offers handshakes to the Rangers bench. He goes on to congratulate his players. That's the hero of the hour. Chris Sutton, an injury time winner. Rickson and Ball, the substitute, get involved with one another, which shows you the discontent to Ibrox in this past season. Rickson been escorted off. Martin O'Neill takes the applause of this huge Celtic crowd and offers congratulations once more around Stan Varga there. Different second season at Celtic for him as well. Did he uh, And the Celtic fans will savour this moment. For the rest of this weekend and beyond. And it's finished here at Celtic Park. Celtic 1, Rangers 0. No.